Matthew Yahu Matthew twenty six, and it came to pass when Yahusha had finished all these sayings, F he said unto his Talmudim, Ye know that after two days is the feast of the Pekach, and the son of Adam is betrayed to be crucified. Crucified. Then assembled together the chief priests and the scribes and the elders of the people unto the palace of the high priest, who was called Kayafa, and consulted that they might take Yahusha by subtlety and kill him. But they said, Not on the feast day, lest there be an uproar among the people. Now when Yahusha was in Bethany, in the house of Shimon, the jar maker, there came unto him a woman, having, having an alabaster box of very precious ointment, and poured it on his head as he sat to eat. But when his Talmudim saw it, they had indignation, saying, To what purpose is this waste? For this ointment might have been sold for much and given to the poor. When Yahusha understood it, he said unto them, Why trouble ye the woman? For she has wrought a good work upon me. For ye have the poor always with you, but me ye have not always. For in that she has poured this ointment on my body, she did it for my burial. Amen, I say unto you, Wheresoever this Besara shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also this, that this woman has done, be told for a memorial of her. Then one of the twelve, called Yahuda Ishkirot, went unto the chief priests, and said unto them, What will ye give me, and I will deliver him unto you? And they covenanted with him for thirty pieces of silver. And from that time he sought opportunity to betray him. At the beginning of the Pikach week, the Talmudim came to Yahusha, saying to him, Where will you that we prepare for you to eat at the Pikach? And he said, Go into the city to such a man, and say unto him, The rabbi says, My time is at hand. I will keep at the Pikach at your house with my Talmudim. And the Talmudim did as Yahusha had appointed them and they made ready the pikach. Now when the evening was come, he sat down with the twelve. And as they did eat, he said, Amen, I say unto you, that one of you shall betray me. And they were exceeding sorrowful, began every one of them to say unto him, Adonai, is it I? And he answered and said, He that dips his hand with me in the dish, the same shall betray me. The son of Adam goes as it is written of him, but woe unto that man by whom the son of Adam is betrayed. It had been good for that man if he had not been born. Then Yahuda, which betrayed him, answered and said, Rabbi, is it I? He said unto him, You have said. And as they were eating, Yahusha took at the bread and blessed it, and broke it, and gave it to the Talmudim, and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And he took the cup, and gave thanks, and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it. For this is my blood of the renewed covenant, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it anew with you in my Father's kingdom. And when they had sung a hymn, they went out into the Mount of Olives. Then said Yahusha unto them, All ye shall be offended because of me this night, for it is written, I will smite at the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered abroad. But... After I am risen again, I will go before you into Galil. 
Kepha answered and said unto him, Though all men shall be offended because of you, yet will I never be offended. Yahusha said unto him, Amen, I say unto you, that this night before the cock crow you shall deny me thrice. Kepha said unto him, Though I should die with you, yet will I not deny you. Likewise also said all the Talmudim. Then came Yahusha with them unto a place called Gethsemane, and said unto the Talmudim, Sit ye here while I go and pray yonder. And he took with him Kepha and the two sons of Zavdi, and began to be sorrowful and very heavy. Then said he unto them, My soul is exceeding sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry ye here and watch with me. And he went a little further, and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. And he came unto the Talmudim, and found them asleep, and said unto Kepha, What? Could ye not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The Ruach indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. He went away again the second time and prayed, saying, O Father, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, your will be done. And he came and found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy. And he left them and went away again and prayed the third time, saying the same words. Then came he to his Talmudim and said unto them, Sleep on now, and take your rest. Behold, the hour is at hand, and the son of Adam is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us be going. Behold, he is at hand, that betrays me. And while he yet spoke, lo, Yahuda, one of the twelve, came, and with him a great multitude with swords and staves from the chief priests and elders of the people. Now he that betrayed him gave them a sign, saying, Whomsoever I shall kiss, that same is he. Hold him fast. And forthwith he came to Yahusha and said, Hail, Master, and kissed him. And Yahusha said unto him, Friend, wherefore are you come? Then came they and laid hands on Yahusha and took him. Behold, one of them which were with Yahusha stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck a servant of the high priests and smote off his ear. Then said Yahusha unto him, Put up again your sword into his place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Think you that I cannot now pray to my father, and he shall presently give me more than twelve legions of angels? But how then shall the scriptures be fulfilled, that thus it must be? In that same hour said Yahusha to the multitudes, Are ye come out as against a thief with swords and staves for to take me? I sat daily with you teaching in the temple, and ye laid no hold on me. But all this was done, that the scriptures of the prophets might be fulfilled. Then all the Talmudim forsook him and fled. And they that had laid hold on Yahusha led him away to Kayafa, the high priest, where the scribes and the elders were assembled. But Kepha followed him after, rather, afar off, unto the high priest's place, rather, palace, and went in and sat with the servants to see the end. Now the chief priests and elders and all the council sought false witness against Yahusha to put him to death, but found none.
Yea, though many false witnesses came, yet found they none. At the last came two false witnesses, and said, This fellow said, I am able to destroy the temple of Yahuwah, and to build it in three days. And the high priest arose and said unto him, Answer you nothing? What it is, what, rather, what is it which these witness against you? But Yahusha held his peace. And the high priest answered and said unto him, I adjure you by the living El, that you tell us whether ye, you be Hamashiach, the son of Elohim. Yahusha said unto him, You have said. Nevertheless, I say unto you, Hereafter shall ye see the son of Adam sitting on the right hand of power and coming in the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest rent his clothes, saying, He has spoken blasphemy. What further need have we of witnesses? Behold, now ye have heard his blasphemy. What think ye? They answered and said, He is guilty of death. Then did they spit in his face, and buffeted him, and others smote him with the palms of their hands, saying, Prophesy unto us, Mashiach, who is he that smote you? Now Cephas sat without in the palace, and a damsel came unto him, saying, You also were with Yahusha of Galil. But he denied before them all, saying, I know not what you say. And when he was gone out into the porch, another maid saw him and said unto them that were there, This fellow was also with Yahusha the Netzari. And again he denied with an oath, I do not know the man. And after a while came unto him they that stood by and said to Kepha, Surely you also are one of them, for your speech bewrays you. Then he began Rather, then began he to curse and to swear, saying, I know not the man. And immediately the cock crew. And Kepha remembered the word of Yahusha, which said unto him, Before the cock crow, you shall deny me thrice. And he went out and wept bitterly.